Right, yeah, come in, yeah. please. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Uh, make yourself at home. Yeah, yeah you rascal. <laughs> See, there we have some of those gestures that, that carry emotional meaning. Huh? But it's by no means complete. But in the, in the science of dance, as given in the Bharat Natya Shastra, mm -hmm. and yeah, the, the, uh, um, the Bharat Nat uh, you know, the Natakas, the dancers, are the very, very complete language of gestures and signs. Yeah, you see them, right, right. You see them in the dances, those Odissi and, and uh, Karnataka dances there, always making these far out gestures. And you, and you know exactly what they mean, too. It's right. like there's something deep in your subconscious, in everybody's mind, that recognizes these gestures. You have to have a little, a little background. And this well, is yeah. really complicated. Yeah, if you know basically the story and like exactly. that, you, know, you can guess what Krishna is or the different dancers are doing and like that. But um, see, what we want to do is we want to we want to combine dance, music, and drama to tell the stories of Lord Chaitanya. Because in India, people understand Krishna, but they don't really understand Lord Chaitanya. So we have to come up with, we want to invent a new art form, which is like a classical music, dance, drama thing that explains the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. And we can go all over India and present this, and the people will just love it. I mean, they'll just eat it up. I think I've been born for this. Yeah. Can I ask it for a drama? <laughs> this is all falling into place. Yeah, we've been working. So far, we've been working on the pieces, but now we're we're going to actually start to integrate those pieces and and work towards this, the synthesis of this new form. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what was I trying to say with this? Oh, yeah. So there's this language of emotion, which is from gestures, huh? which you find in India, and. Uh, then, you know, we'll get a dance teacher to, to teach us all this, and the talas and all this, and we'll have a drummer, you know, I want to hire one drummer, basically, who just works with us, you know, and, uh, you know, comes in the afternoon or something like that. <laughs> you know, and who, who really knows how to play, and, and we can we can practice all the talas, you know, we'll all get little ankle bells and Yeah. That's a good way to face two thousand top. Yeah. Yeah. Like the bells and the holy name. Yeah. Now the Krishna will protect it. If we do something like this, I mean Krishna will certainly protect us. I have full confidence. Yeah, so we can do these things, and uh, you know we'll get we'll get someone to come and teach us how to the swaras, how to sing, how to play the instruments. You know we'll have you know hire several musicians and like that. I mean, it's so they're so cheap. You can hire a musician, you know, full time musician who's really well trained up, for just like you know a couple thousand rupees a month or something, and they'll come every day and they'll train us in singing and they'll, yeah. See, like, I don't have the patience to do this. But my vision is like, my bigness, my vision, my vision is like really big. It's like, I want to do, I want to do these really far out things, you know. So it's like, I need people that I can like say, you know, do the, you know, Rog Marva in A flat, you know, and just say, okay. You know, I don't have to like, you know, go, hey, you know. They drive me crazy. I'm telling you, they drive me nuts. <laughs> Some car or other will get it somehow. <laughs> By associating with nice twenty years. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, if you, if you're around this every day, then we have a goal. Yeah, by next year we want to be doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> no, but nicely. <laughs> <laughs> nicely, yes. Yeah, yes. Details, details. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we want to do this as, as our preaching, our main preaching engagement. You know? And we can, of course, we have all the video stuff now. We can do it out on the internet. Hard ball. We don't have to, like, travel around in smelly trains all over the place. You know, we can do it, we can do it like, outdoors in a nice place. You know, I mean, it'll, it'll take a couple of years for us to get, to really get it together, you know. I'm going to be adapting all the material from Chaitanya Charitamrita, you know, yeah. yeah. So we'll have to, uh, you will present the courses, first of all, the scriptures, and then we'll go through the scriptures, uh, in detail before we reenact. Well, yeah, you course. have to know the science of rasa. How can you, excuse me, how can you reenact the pastimes of the Lord because he's relishing these rasas? That's a good training, though. Hmm? That's a good training. Yeah. Oh, yes. about training. That's it, it's, yeah. Not, it's not training. It's like that, you, you lifestyle. know. Huh? A lifestyle. It's like, yeah, you, you have to know these, these rasas. It's just like, you know, when you hit a clinker note, I say, hey, stop that, stop, you know, you're hurting my friends. Yeah. You know, my friend, all those swaras are my friends. I know each one of them, like a person. You know, every person you know, they have a certain mood and a certain nature, and you kind of know what they're going to do or how they're going to respond to particular situations and like that. Well, each of the musical notes is like that. Each of the swaras. It was like that. They each have their own mood, their own particular, you know, feeling and everything like that. And, and, and to hear, for me, they're all, they're like my old friends. They're like, you know, I've known them since childhood. And then to hear people, you know, hit them off key and stuff like this, it's like, ah, you know. It's like twisting the... The yeah, oh, it's well. <laughs> that kind of felt good to sort of earlier, but uh, the uh, the the moods, the rasas are like that. See, they're they're specific tastes, specific emotions. They are not, you know. It's like ordinary actors in the West are just incredibly incredible hacks compared to. The, the, the kind of acting you need in pastime plays. Because we're talking about very specific, scientific, transcendental, emotional tastes. Huh? And we, we can't let any mundane conception or, or misunderstanding get in the way of that. So all of these terms have to be cleared and understood so that we, you know, because otherwise, how can I direct a play and I say, okay, now you have to manifest Hasya Rasa. This next line is spoken in Madhurya Rasa. You see? No, there's no time to look up in the book. You have to know. Huh? It's just like if I say to, to a musician, okay, now we're going to play in the key of A minor. No think, no, no look up, just do. That's how you make art. You make art by the mastery of the materials. You see? If you know exactly how to mix paints to get a certain color, you don't think about it. Oh, let me see, I'm going to use a little lime green here and a little azure and a little of this. No. You just say, oh, okay, no. Into the painting. See, a real master artist doesn't have to think about technique. The technique's automatic. Huh? So we, we have to become expert in, in writing, in emotional analysis, in uh, lyrics and rhymes and, and rhythms and dances and gestures and, the, and all underlying the whole thing, the science of rasa. And then the different artis artistic techniques are simply different ways of expressing that rasa in a certain medium. See? So this is 
you know, people think, you know, oh yeah, those Hare Krishnas, you know, they're just some kind of weird religious fanatics. But actually, <laughs> there's this great science, this deep culture behind every single one of these uh, so-called religious beliefs. It's actually very scientific. And if you know these things, oh, I mean, it just opens up incredible realms of consciousness and inner experience that are beyond anything that you can experience in any other way. You can just sit there under a tree, you don't have to do anything. Just sit there and think of the Lord's pastimes and you're like, you're there. You know? And then you like, you know, you just you just like create the mood and then you know like Lord Chaitanya used to say, Mora Mana Vrindavan. My mind is Vrindavan. He would create Vrindavan.